Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Crusader Kings 2, The Republic of Venice. When we left things off, we had a almost comical, if it were not irritating, plot to kill Patrician Domenico of Morosini. Um, attempt after attempt have failed to get this guy to die, despite our incredible plot power, but we've not yet been discovered, so... Oh no, wait, that's not true. That's right, there was a drunken confession by someone who's not a drunk and actually has quite good intrigue and likes me a fair bit, and I, I don't know. Uh, so we're going to see what happens about that. I guess if we can, uh, we can click on him, and you know what? Scheming bastard, minus 50. We're still positive, we're still above zero with this guy, despite all the scheming. So, um, uh, Barcelona died, who was she? Oh, the wife of my steward. Well, hopefully he'll want to get remarried soon so we can get a, a boost that way. Um, I stood by the stained glass windows and tried to look through them when the priest approached me and asked me what I thought about them. A courtier by my side spoke before I managed to say some very unfair opinions about the multitude of colors used. It saved me, but only for a minute. What? A don, a donate and the stained glass window. My steward. All right. I was going to say it starts an event. I haven't seen this before. When Adone uh, had told the priest what he thought about the stained glass windows, both looked inquiring at me until I managed to croak something appraising about the windows using some of Adone's opinions. The priest seemed satisfied and Adone beamed at me. Seems I've got an admirer. Oh, plus 15. Alright. That's fine. I mean, there were no choices there. Uh, title loss and succession, yeah, because we're still working on that. You, lack of guardian. Who are you? kinswoman, not very closely related by blood. Um, we should... Do you have any traits yet? Hair lip? Oh, that's great. And wrath. Oh, awesome. Um, but, you know, you, still, you always have the family connection. Unless there's something really terrible that goes on, hopefully they're always going to like each other very much. So I still like the idea, even though it's probably going to come bite me in the ass in a really spectacular and exciting way, of um, continuing to educate people who will probably like me okay with high intrigue we're trying i'm trying to breed a family of schemers so we're going we're to keep doing that um and anyone from now on who's actually um kind of more directly related to me especially someone who might inherit the family from now on i'm going to educate them myself it just hasn't that situation hasn't really come up i suppose i can pull people out of it um right like my eldest son's they're all, they're all, they're all daughters Alright, he's got a couple of grandsons. Can we, like, flip it around and have them um, be educated by me? Can I change that? Who's me? There I am. Ah, uh, it'll piss people off. Uh -huh. But yeah, you know what? We're... Oh. Maybe it's too late. Maybe I shouldn't do that. The mayor. Mayor who? Mayor Dominico of Mizar. Hmm. Alright, we'll, we'll leave it as is for now. Uh, but if something should happen to the mayor, I'll definitely pick them up at that point. I, pro I should have been doing that all along. There's no probably. Um, in terms of money, we don't have a ton of it. Uh, and there's something to be said about saving it up. I believe I am building up my household right now, and I am. Oh, it's actually almost done. Um, word has reached me that your court chaplain has accused me of heresy. I implore you as a devout Catholic to another devout Catholic to believe me when I tell you I'm not... Well, he's my son. Oh, that's my son doing the education. Um, you know what? I could actually afford the hit of him no longer educating um, my grandson. Let's do that. Especially since I'm going to make him like me quite a bit more in a sec anyway. Because I'm going to side with him. Boom. Um, yeah, I'm sure he's not a heretic. Definitely says he's Catholic, so i got to assume. Uh, he's going to like me more by 25, so that's, that's good. So, a slight adjustment, but it should... He's got Grateful. Maybe he already had Grateful. I don't know. Wow. That is... Inbred, scarred, right, right. I, I remember now. 
And, uh, well, the daughters have appeared to have avoided any sort of, like, horrible problems from being inbred. So that's good. Lots of intrigue. Wow. Ill, deceitful. Hmm. Um, let's unpause here. So it's 1090. Yeah, so the money situation. So I'm building that, and I think that's good. Um, there's... Okay, that's fine. Um, the question is, do I continue to increase the actual trading post that I have? And a lot of people keep encouraging me to get one in um, Constantinople over here. The tax revenue is very high. What would be the cost to build that? 350 I guess it would pay for itself pretty quickly, actually. Because um, I had been looking for independent realms to maybe take over. Um, and that wasn't really presenting itself a situation. Maybe I should just bite the bullet and build it there. It's probably a good investment. Because then the next question was, do I keep uh, increasing my trade posts? Um, like there's a few more spots I can put in over here, or do I start upgrading them? Costs 100 to upgrade, does add 10 change, like 10 extra trade value. So it's probably better for the money. Um, no, no grand tournament. We're gonna, we're gonna go into Constantinople and see how that goes. Before someone else beats us to it, at the very least. Um, and then what we might do is build the defensive buildings and stuff over here. That might be a good point, because it's way too far away for us to defend. Um, in time, for, to stop, uh, your typical kind of, um, assault. Quite the little patchwork of territory going on over here. Hmm. So, keep going. In Istria. So yeah, I think we're just going to let that tick over. There we go, military warehouse is done. So let's go and take a look at the retinues. So now, yes, we have a 1,000, actually a 1,400 retinue cap because we added 1,000 to it. And now we can finally add to our retinue. So people in the comments were very helpful about explaining how this works. Uh, the retinue is basically like a person, uh, a permanent kind of um, mercenary group, for example, that I have at my control. And there's no maintenance fee to maintain them. However, when you build a retinue, it starts with like basically no one, and then it grows over time. And while it's growing, uh, you spend money to, to kind of grow up. But then once it caps out, it's fine. So if you go to war and some people die, then you have to pay to bring them back up to the max. Um, and yeah, if we can just turn off the uh, the retinue reinforcement, if ever we're kind of stuck for it. So that's good, but I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to let time keep ticking. I'm going to prioritize getting... Oh, hello. Um, Constantinople. But a crusade for Jerusalem! Of course we're going to help participate in a crusade for Jeru Jerusalem. That's, I mean, we're, we're a good Catholic, right? That's, our Pope is calling for us, a Pope who we have a good relationship with. Plus, wouldn't it be kind of awesome to, you know, get a little out of this? Hmm. There's the vote. So, we can tell him, let's pause, uh, oops, over here, that we can, uh, we'll join his war for the crusade, right? So, that's, that's pretty good value. So, Jerusalem is, there it is. I was like, why can't I see it? But that's because it's, it's half covered. So, Jerusalem is here. It's actually not coastal. Um, but, we could still assist in the war, and I think we will. Maybe not right away. Um, maybe we'll see how it goes first. We don't want to get involved in the initial fighting anyway. We want to let the big battles be finished off, and then we want to get involved. Apparently one of the courtiers has been annoying my wife. Um, apparently it's, it's Gladys, even though there's a W in there. It is pronounced Gladys. And instead of asking me for help, she took the matter into her own hands and made sure the courier, courtier would never annoy her again, or he'd know the consequences. What on earth was she thinking? Um... My half-brother, who loves me right now, so I can afford to tick him off a little bit. And anyway, this is my wife. I mean, she already loves me a lot. I guess I could afford to tick her off a little bit. Um, but that seems like a poor idea. Let's just, let's just make sure that my wife stays totally happy. So, what do we have? Uh, we still have a spy master over here. Right, because that's who I'm trying to murder, right? <laughs> he lives in... Uh, Oh no! He's in Gisello. Why? What? He's in like he's here. Let's move my spy master. What is he doing way over there? Uh, spy master. Right. Built spy network. Assassination chance. Yes. Boom. That should put us over two hundred percent. No, it's gone down a little. What? Oh, I bet some people have died. Should we bring some more people on board? 
You there. Yes. Complain to me about my grandson, Benedetto. So I'm getting this event because I'm his, uh, I'm his educator. He's my ward. Um, apparently he punched her son in the face again. Okay, well... <laughs> you can give him Roth. I think this might be the better chance. Patient will make him a lot more friends overall. and gives him bonus to Intrigue. Whereas Roth helps with Marshall, but we're not. that's not really critical for us. So beat him into being calm. What? The beatings will continue until morale improves. Um, we're still going to give that a try. Uh, well, that's interesting. This actually has a larger chance of getting him to be patient. But has the chance of giving him wrath. You know what the hell? Let's do this. At least he'll end up with something. and He'll be interesting. It seems to be taking his time when making decisions. He gains the patient trait. Okay. Huh. Peace be with you, an intriguing scheme. Yes, excellent. So that puts us at 195. Alright, so we're not at 200, but seriously, and hopefully this guy can come up with some new ideas. Oh! I'd never noticed that banner before. During the Crusade. Well, that's quite cool. And then we can join the Pope. I suppose the earlier we join, the more contribution points we, we gain. And it seems like, like we should do that, right? We should, shouldn't we? I don't know. On the other hand, there's all this money to be made. And I'd be spending it on um, on mercenaries, and you know, it just simply might be better than doing this. I'm wondering actually about moving my steward, who is, or sorry, my chancellor, who is, oh, increasing relation with the Muslims. You know, this is a bad time politically to be doing that. Let's let's move him to Constantinople. Um, it won't help with our initial purchase, but a lot of these places are actually quite wealthy. So we can make some friends and, and buy up a lot of territory over here. It'll help with o offset the uh, the long distance cost of of doing all this. So there we go. Let's um let's get this built. Boom. We're gonna expand over there. It would be really nice if one of these realms became independent, but uh, but they're not. What's over here? No, you're not independent either, because. We got a couple. Where are you, actually? No, you are too. You, you're not. It's not the only province he has. Rumor in Venezia that one of the local nobles might be corrupt. Handle it wisely. This information can be used to implicate one of your enemies. I like it. Doesn't specify. Yes, use it. Use it to implicate one of my enemies. Someone I'm trying to murder. Uh, Bishop Bernardo of Rialto decided not. To to not risk upsetting his vassals and confess to the allegations of corruption. It will take some time before his prestige recovers, and I have with me the fine I collected. Oh, 50 gold. Cool. Thanks, that's awesome. You're very useful in Venezia. So that's gonna get built, alright. Yeah, if we uh, if we die before this, we're able to off him, we're gonna lose a lot of our trading posts probably and some of our investments. Ambrosia practically lives in the kitchen, the little glutton. Um... Lose prestige, become gluttonous. Make her mad, less chance of becoming gluttonous. Or 50-50, let's go for 50-50. Ah, finally! Ah, another carriage ride. Yes, those things are death traps. Don't escape, don't escape, don't escape, don't escape. At least this is better than a freaking, um... Freaking snake plan again. Seriously, those snakes aren't going anywhere. Come on. Just kill him already. Auto save. Killing the tension. God damn it! Really? Really? At least the driver is killed by his guards before the involvement can be exposed. Oh my god. This guy's worse than a cat. What do we have to do to kill this jerk ass? Hey, are you? You are too. Bowman. All right. <laughs> Approve the plan. Uh, oh, my kinsman, charismatic negotiator. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, we might, we might go for this. There's going to be a lot of value in pulling that off. Plus, there's already someone here with a trade post, right? And we could take that away. Actually. Yes! Finally! Gosh! Die! Die, 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 die,
Ah, the lone bowman. Yes, one less threat to the establishment. Okay, and I notice I have lost my ch Oh, oh, only 930 respect? Oh, you're going nowhere, buddy. And we have enough uh, respect here that these guys shouldn't spend any money trying to just beat us in the election. They might just try to kill him. Um, but other than that, we are in good, good shape. And look at this. These guys are actually making quite a bit of money over here, despite the fact that I haven't upgraded them because uh, tax revenues are going up, but I think also the trade zone kind of being developed. Anyway, um, okay, I think this is, this is the next plan. You're heading troops. Are you... Uh, Yes, you've got an independence war. You're supporting uh, Prince Guy's claim on Sicily. Yes, what a perfect time to strike. All right. Uh, you know what? I know this episode was short, but we got some stuff done. Next episode, I want to go to uh, probably go to war for this. Um, or upgrade the holdings. Or actually, you know what? Let's, since I don't have to worry about saving the money so much, I'm going to start building a retinue now. Interesting. Heavy infantry, archers, pikemen, archers, cavalry, cavalry, mostly archers. I don't know if there's like an idealized mix and what kind of combination you get. Um, I guess it depends who you're fighting because pikemen are going to be good against cavalry, for example. Um, probably maybe just put together an, an infantry brigade. Maybe go like the, um, the infantry pikemen and then see if we can stick these guys in here. I guess they're 500 per group, so no, we actually can't, which is really inconvenient. I like archers, though. I I'm gonna go for these two. Uh, they're cheaper, so I guess that means they're less good. If someone builds a heavy pikeman army, we're gonna be in trouble. Pikemen probably get countered by infantry, I bet, or something like that. You know what? Let me, let me not do that now. Let me do a couple of, uh, a couple of readings. Um, to see how the combat works in Crusader Kings 2 because it's not actually something I've ever like really had to min-max before It was always like yeah, you build some holdings you get more stuff and You get a mix of different things and, and whatever but here there might be a real reason to, uh, to sort of mix To try to min-max and prioritize so anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye